<gasps> oh my god! Clip it! Clip it! <laughs> What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. This is a really exciting one because we built this build on Twitch, we experimented and we went through it all uh, all together and we saw big numbers and big numbers and then even bigger numbers. It was absolutely crazy. Now this build is super bespoke to the activity Razorback. You can use it in other parts of the game, uh, but the build has to be slightly different and that will be another video. This one we're going to concentrate on how I got such a high number. We got 735 million with one pistol shot. So it's going to concentrate on that, how we did it and how you can one tap uh, the weak points on Razorback by yourself. You don't actually need any team effort and you definitely don't need to be hitting the 735 million. But before we get started, be sure to hit subscribe for more videos like this. It really does help. Give it a thumbs up, hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Or if you want to have a laugh and see this kind of thing in action, go on over to Twitch, hit follow. I could be streaming live right now. And there's never been a better time to join my community Discord. Oh my god! Clip it! Clip it! <laughs> and as you can see, I hit for a cool 735 million. It's an orange number, and previous tries have been white numbers. I got 400 mil on a white number. <laughs> uh, and that's way, way too much damage needed for these weak points. I think about 120 mil will clear a weak point anyway. So... You really don't need to be taking it to this extreme. And what you've got to realize as well is the ravenous bonus damage that's giving us the amplified damage from having armor. That only works on armor-plated enemies like Razorback and Chunga. So you can't really do this and run around the game and be super OP all the time. There's a one-minute cooldown. You know, there's certain requirements you need to hit. So it's very bespoke and very nice just to have this uh, mainly for the Razorback fight. So let's have a look at the build with all that said. Here it is. And we've changed a few things around from previous and and all the kinds of builds that we tried out. But this was the one that kind of worked out the best because this one can solo a weak point. But then with team buffs, you can absolutely amplify that up even more. And what you'll see on the screen, which I'll throw up now, uh, on my bar at the bottom, you can see I've got two Coyotes masks in my group as well which also played a part in me hitting this number. Now, I didn't have an overcharged pulse, so I could have made this damage number potentially even bigger. Uh, so there were other options available to me that we didn't have at that time. Uh, we just, it just pulse was, wasn't ready uh, when it happened. Uh, so the number could potentially go even higher, all the way up to 1 billion damage. So absolutely crazy. So let's go through the build. So you can see I'm running demo. Uh, that's also got pistol damage spec into it. I'm running demo because I get the t uh, damage to target out to cover. Razorback it doesn't be in cover, obviously. So I wanted that extra bonus. My other teammates had attack 50 on. So we had firewall on as well. Uh, we had a survivalist. So all the extra damage bonuses from all the other specializations I had as well. You can't see them. So just so you know what generated so much damage. Um, I'm using the ACS-12 to build my stacks with flatline because then I can also kill enemies as well at the same time, which is really, really nice. And then I've got the Ravenous here as well. Uh, that's where all of the damage is generated from because when detonated, each offensive primer deals 100% weapon damage. Not bothered about that. But while each defensive primer grants 4% armor and 10% amplified damage, to armor plates for five seconds and on Razorback you just about get enough time to stack that up three times and then get your shot off before it starts wearing down the d50 damage target out to cover and flat line really nice as well and then we've got the remote pulse ball because otherwise we can't build stacks on Razorback And then Revive Hive, because I've no real safety net. This is my only safety net that I have. 
So then look at the rest of the build. Everything spec as much as possible into headshots. So we've got the gift, or you could use a regular Providence backpack. It really makes no difference. You just need vigilance or perfect vigilance for 25% extra damage. One piece gives us 15% headshot. Then we've got weapon damage, crit chance, headshot damage, and headshot damage. Crit chance is just nice to have though, uh, because we do hope we do crit when we're trying to push it as high as we can. But this will give you a white number and still clear the weak point. So that's all good in the hood. Then the Dodge City Gunslinger's Holster. This is again where we get more damage from because the uh, the pistol stacks all the way up to 100. You keep it holstered. And then we're going to swap to it when that damage is up and give it all that damage. You'll have seen this before. So then we're going to look at the Heartbreaker stuff. All uh, the normal stuff here, you know, the two piece, the three piece and the four piece. Obviously the four piece is where it's at because that lets us stack all the way up to a hundred stacks because we're using the, the chest. But it increases max stacks for the heart stopper from 50 to 100, which effectively is giving us 100% extra damage. If you wanted to look at the pieces, you can see here weapon damage, headshot, headshot. Heartbreaker, chest, weapon damage, headshot, headshot. Gloves, weapon damage, headshot, and knees, weapon damage, headshot. So as much headshot damage as you can pile in absolutely everywhere. In so before I show you how to do it, let's have a look at the stats. You can see I've got 21% crit chance, 50% crit hit damage, and 170% headshot damage. Now this is going to allow us to one-shot the weak point. But these ones give us a chance to get a really, really, really high number. And the reason I say that is because if you've got two people running a coyote's mask, you can see that they can generate you critical hit damage and some more critical hit chance. If you get them to generate you this second one here, you're going to get 10% critical hit damage and 10% critical hit chance. And if you get someone to stand really far away, going to give you another 25 percent critical hit chance so that's 35 percent extra critical hit chance and if you look here plus the 21 so 35 45 55 that's going to be like 56 percent critical hit chance which all of a sudden brings this into a real possibility that this will happen which is actually be 60 percent as well And that is it. And if you want to know how to do it, if you've not seen any of my previous videos, so basically just before your teammates open Razorback, and you can help them with the, you know, with the grenade if you want to. Uh, basically, what all you're going to do is well, let's bring this one up here. Is you're going to throw your remote pulse out. Then you can hit Razorback on the side or absolutely anywhere. It doesn't even need to be a weak point, and you can gain stacks. And you can do that obviously really, really easy with the ACS. You're then going to flick over to your RAV. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three stacks. And as you can see, I'm losing already. Flick to your pistol and shoot the shot off. You have to do the whole ravenous thing quicker. I slowed it down just so you could see the process and counted it all out just so you could see the process. And that's it. And obviously, what did that hit for in here? That hit for 36 million did it one two three four five yeah 36 million which is really really nice uh but it doesn't work in here the ravenous bonus armor so you, it doesn't really count but you'll see it and i'll show it again now Oh my god! When all of it comes together and you get your team buffs and you do that exact thing, you can get some huge numbers. And even if you're not interested in the huge numbers and you just want to make a uh, dark hours run really, really easy, you'll solo that weak point. Even without your team buffs or anything like that, you just do that method and you'll solo the weak point, making the run hopefully a lot easier for you and your teammates, especially if anybody is new. There is a lot of people new around right now uh, playing as well. So I hope this is good information. I hope you had a good time if you watched us put this together on stream. It certainly was a ball. Look out for the next video. There is a slightly altered version of this where you can run in, you know, day-to-day -day missions in Countdown. I was one-shotting 
hunters uh, with the pistol in countdown as well which made for a really fun time in there too so be sure to make sure you're following and you got the bell nuts for the notifications turned on so you get the alert for that come on over to twitch and click follow thank you for watching everybody and i will see you in the next one bye bye